Hi, I'm Dr. Elliot Adam from ElliotOracle.com. I'm also the author of the award-winning Fearless Tarot, How to Give a Positive Reading in Any Situation. And Fearless Tarot takes tarot out of the realm of fear and places it in the context of personal empowerment. So you never have to be afraid of a card you're going to get in your readings. It's time for this week's Oracle Reveal. So earlier today on Instagram, I placed up a photo of three different animals and I asked you to use your intuition and just ask yourself, which animal's calling to you? Because that animal has your message. And the animals were the mouse, the otter, and the monkey. So if you're just joining me now, ask yourself which animal's getting caught in your head because that animal has your message. For those of you who picked the modest mouse, uh, the card says contentment, stealth, and humility. And so mouse can be a humble animal. We've all heard the story of the lion and the mouse where the lion's got the thorn and you know no one can help him except the humble little mouse. And he, uh, the mouse ends up becoming friends with the king of the, the beasts. So this uh, animal archetype can really tell you to do things in those small ways, uh, make an influence, make an impact on your world around you. Um, and don't assume that you need to be this big, powerful, strong, impressive uh, force but instead really lean into your humility, lean into the part of you that is resourceful, that can outwit things, that notices those details, uh, that can help you transcend this week. Um, this first card for the mouse is where it's best to place your focus this next week, and we see the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is always focused on the long game. He represents stability, security, and long-term success. But it doesn't happen overnight with the Pentacle suit, especially the good cards. Um, the Pentacle suit will usually rule money, job, career, something that you're trying to build. But Pentacles cards really make you wait for it. Uh, it's like watching a tree grow sometimes. It can be so slow going and painstaking. And the King of Pentacles is really aligned with that Saturnine energy of putting the hard work in, being diligent, and also being consistent most importantly of all. For Mouse this next week, it's important that you're consistent. That is going to be the thing that really leads towards your long-term success, so keep your eye on the long game. The second card is going to be Advice from Your Inner Wisdom, and we actually get the Three of Cups, and the Three of Cups is usually a card of celebration, joy, connection. It's a social card. It's a card of enjoying uh, yourself socially. It's also a card of being seen or being around other people that just make you feel good. The Three of Cups also reminds us of our personal charisma, which can also be applied to any situation we go into to elevate the energy around us. So when the Three of Cups comes up, it asks you, you know, what energy are you leaving behind after you leave a room? Have you just elevated the energy? Have you made people feel better? Did they say, God, who was that person? I really like them. They, they just made me feel good. Uh, or are they like, oh, I can't wait till that person <laughs> never comes back again. Uh, so Three of Cups is really saying be conscious of the vibes you're sending out and also be conscious of the energy flows around you and do your part to elevate them. There's way too much negativity right now. And this could be a time if you want to see success happening, uh, start with smiling, start with yourself, start with being uh, more positive or bringing something uh, up in the energy level rather than depressing it. Uh, the third card is going to be a mythic archetype that will help you this next week. And we get Selenus. He is, uh, his name means moon man in ancient Greek. He's a satyr. He's also the teacher of Dionysus, and he's a bit of a rebel. And when I see him next to that party going three of cups card, I could see that there's a, a time to just let loose, uh, let go of some of the long-term goals. Know that that King of Pentacles energy you're working toward is still going to be worked toward next week, next month. It's still there for you. But maybe for now, you just need to enjoy the moment. You might need to let loose a little bit more. And you might want to rebel against those long-term uh, you know, restrictions. As long as you're consistent daily with the work you got to do, once that work is set aside, these cards are really telling you to enjoy yourself. So this could be a really fun week uh, if you pick the mouse. Second animal is the optimistic otter, and this card says positivity, imagination, and playfulness. And otter is always an archetype of playfulness. It's also a feminine archetype animal. So this could be a time when you are really diving into the waters of the receptive feminine side of your own nature. 
And Otter is much like that Three of Cups card that came up earlier. It's more of a playful animal. It, it loves to play. They, if you ever see them underwater with each other, they're just a delight. And so Otter could uh, really tell you, again, to embrace the part of yourself that dares to play, that dares to let go of responsibilities, and also goes with the flows that are going through your life. Um, the first card for Otter is where it's best to place your focus this next week. And here's the reason we need to celebrate a little bit more or let loose. You got the Materialism card. Now, in the Connolly deck, this is the equivalent to the Devil card, but it's got a little bit of a different slant to it. You see that there's a figure who's chained, but here he's chained to the corrupted versions or damaged versions of the four suits of the tarot. And that's a symbol for the material world. Uh, the materialism card could just say, you might be getting so caught up in the mundane, the thing that's in front of you, how much money you have, how much uh, success you're showing to other people, all the surface stuff that really doesn't matter. And materialism could just be saying, it's time to unhook yourself from anything that's become an unhealthy attachment. This could be a time to take a mental inventory of all that's coming with you on your path at this time and throw away anything that's just weighing you down and return to that playful otter spirit within. The second card is going to be advice from your inner wisdom if you pick the otter. We got the four of cups, kind of a similar meaning. Here we see a figure under a tree. He's worried about his problems. He's worried about what's gonna happen next week or what happened last year. And he's completely blind because right in front of him, coming out of the cloud is that angel offering him a golden cup. And this is us sometimes. Sometimes we're so stuck in this stuff, uh, the thing we're chained to, that we can't see the forest for the trees. And the miracle, the blessing is being offered right in front of our nose, and yet we're so consumed by the worry that we just can't even see it. So when Four of Cups comes up, it asks you to wake up, be aware, uh, stop sleepwalking through life, stop ignoring the blessing that you have right in front of your nose every day. And also gratitude can be so helpful, just looking around you and saying, I can't believe I have this. I can't believe this is going well. Instead of focusing on each little picky thing that isn't perfect at this time and it isn't gonna help you. So I just think open your eyes to the miracle. And the mythic archetype that might be able to help you with that is Pandora. She's the goddess archetype who opens the box or the vase in the myth uh, and all the plagues of the world come out. But she shuts the box, luckily, just in time and hope remains. This could be a week for Otter where you're losing sight of the hope and you might feel like something's getting unleashed in your life that's out of your control, it's out of your power, but it's attached to the material world and it's an illusion. And what you need to instead do is really recapture your sense of hope and possibility. And the way to do that is to open your eyes, be aware, get out of your phone, get out of your head, stop watching Oracle Reveal, get outside, go for a walk in nature and see the message that's being delivered to you in true reality. And finally, the monkey, mischievous monkey, says innovation, confidence, amusement. And this is a card or an animal archetype that can just tell you to lighten up, joke a little bit more, uh, be funny or humorous, but also monkey's very intelligent. First card for monkey is where it's best to place your focus. And we got the Knight of Pentacles. He's been called the young man of unfulfilled expectations in the tarot. So monkey might need to manage their expectations this next week. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles usually stalls or stops on his path in order to learn something important in the present. There's a detail that's been missing. There's something that needs to be circled back and understood before you can progress. The second card is advice from your inner wisdom. We get the Ace of Pentacles. So two Pentacles cards. Uh, this could say that this is a really great time prosperously. Uh, it could indicate that a new opportunity is right around the corner, but you might miss it if you're sowing your expectation of what it should be. Again, being aware, being present is going to be so important this week for Monkey as well. And Ace of Pentacles says that the gift that's being offered to you is opportunity. There's limitless opportunity. There's limitless opportunities for success and prosperity out there. And this might just be a time where you're learning on your path uh, before diving into your next successes. I also feel like 2022 is going to be pretty exciting for Monkey. And then finally, the mythic archetype that will help you if you pick the Monkey card is Hera, the Queen of the Gods. She holds herself with a regal bearing. She doesn't stoop to worrying or being stressed out or distressed by what's happening around her. Hera could really tell you to take the high road and also to rise above it. Um, also maintain your dignity. 
And that is this week's Oracle. I do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you can always check me out at elliotoracle.com. Otherwise, I hope you all have a safe and happy week and I'll see you next week. So take care.